Hey guys, it's Amy. Yes, I have a bare face and today I'm gonna do a get ready with me Hawaii edition. Yes, I am on vacation in my Hawaii hotel. So I'm in front of the vanity. I just did my base Shantikai Just Skin Moisturizer. So a lot of you were interested in seeing how I do my eye makeup with the new Hermes palette. Honestly, every time I do it, it's different. So today is going to look like what I do today. And then another time will be different as well. But in general, uh, it just depends on my mood. And I really love this palette because I find it very versatile, even though it's quite dark in a way, but it's actually still very, very neutral. And for my eye shape, I find it to be super versatile. So I'll just show you guys how I do it. I'm going to go ahead with this lightest color right here all over my lids. So I'll just grab kind of like this much, tap it and see. Just all over my lid. It's kind of like not too precise because you can always go over it a bit more and this is just to lay the foundation color. Why is someone yelling outside? <laughs> I don't know if you guys are hearing it. But anyway, let's go for the other eye. I think it was yelling from the corridor and not from the not from the window. Like I said, it's never really exact because um, I'm no makeup artist and I honestly just do whatever I feel like that day. <laughs> so that's just to lay kind of like the base color. Then I'll go with like a small blending brush like this. This is the refer. 15 mini. I'll go in the medium color here. Just tap a little bit because this is pretty good as like the outer corner color. So I'll just go kind of like this and then kind of sweep it in. You see how it just gives a bit of shadow there? It's not super exact, like I said, um, the way I do my makeup is always different. My eye shape is also very different every day since I have monolid. It just depends on how much salt I've had the previous day, then it will just look more inflamed or less inflamed. The other side. Kind of just to give it a bit more depth. There you go. So that's kind of like if you're into like a very simple eye look, you can put on mascara and that can be your eye look that day. But I'll go a bit further because I always find that um, for me, it helps to define my eyes a bit more. So I just got this new refer brush, number 26. So this is their really humongous pencil brush, which I kind of like because for my eye shape, and I'll go into the black, um, any liner I do doesn't show up because it just tucks underneath. So I need something quite thick. And I'll just do kind of like a rough, Kind of like a rough liner, line like this. You see how it defines my eyes a little bit, but it's not like super precise or anything. And like once I put the silver color over top, it just blends everything in, I find. So there you go. Go in with a bit more of the black for the other side. Let's see. It's 
See how my eyes are kind of uneven on both sides? That's why it's kind of annoying that any thin eyeliner almost doesn't show up. Going back on the 15 and then just kind of like deepen it a little bit. And it kind of also just blends the black a little bit more. With the brown, darker brown color. There we have it. I like going back in um, with a thinner pencil brush closer to the lash line for the black color just to kind of really define it at the lash line. It doesn't make a huge difference once I open my eyes, but I just know that it's a bit more defined. Number 23, which is the tiniest pencil brush. I'll go into the black again for just the outer corner of the lower lash line. I'm gonna use the number two mini. So like the tiny little brush for the inner corner of the shimmer. It's just the most easy way to put shimmer at the inner corner of my eyes. I like going in my ring finger into the silver because it grabs a lot of the product and I just like going on the middle of my lid and just kind of blend it with that silver because it really just brightens up everything and just brings everything to life and I'm not super precise or anything I just kind of yeah blend it in like this and it's really really pretty it just makes this palette is so easy to wear once you blend everything in with the silver, even though the black looks very harsh. Uh, on me, it just barely, barely shows up anyway, but once you put the silver in, it just blends in the black too. So I don't know if you can see the difference here with the silver, without the silver. So yeah, it makes a huge difference. And the ring finger is the, the perfect application for that last step. We just kind of bring everything together. I just do mostly the middle of the eyelid and then bring it to the front and then kind of just, yeah, blend everything together. It's pretty easy. Um, as you can see, my application is not super precise. If you really wanted to go back in, maybe with your blending brush, so maybe like the 15, you could maybe go back in a little bit with the light brown and just kind of like kind of further define kind of like just the outside but yeah it's pretty pretty straightforward so i hope you enjoyed my mini Get ready with me for the eyeshadow. I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup. My trusted mascara. This is the L'Oreal Double Extend. I like this one because it's pretty easy. It's also a tubing mascara, so it's just super easy to wash off. The white part is just the primer. It does give it a bit more depth, and then this black part is the fiber mascara. For brows, I use the NYX Professional Micro Brow Pencil, and I just define the ends a little bit.
Next I go in with this Merit um, brow gel thingy. NARS Laguna just to define the nose a little bit. It barely shows up, but it just kind of adds a bit of dimension. We can do a blush now. This is the Hermes number I don't really use this bronzer, but we'll just go in a little bit with this um, powder brush from Chikahoto. My magnetic lashes. A lot of you are still wonder how I put them on. I mean, I'm kind of used to it. I just lay it in front on top of my lashes and you just do one magnet at a time, but it does take some practice. So let me see if I can get it done. Here's one side. So this side is good. Um, yeah, it usually is easier on one side compared to the other. And all that's left is some lip color, so hmm, shall we try this one today from Elmas? Since should we go pink or should we go red? So this one is a sample called um, number 18, Satiny Rose Encense in satiny. Let me try using my Dior lip brush. So just grabbing some product. Mm, it's very pretty. It's like my lips but better kind of color.
Hmm, I really like this color because it's kind of like my lip color so it doesn't bring my lips up out too much so when you have stronger eye makeup you can have more of like just like a neutral pink lip let my hair down i hope you guys enjoyed it and thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye